points of a function. Stationary points are where the gradient f dash of x is equal to zero. There are two types of stationary points. A minimum turning point, when the gradient is zero, but if x is smaller than a, the gradient is negative, and when x is greater than a, the gradient is positive. So a minimum turning point is like the foot of the bottom of a valley. We can also have a maximum turning point, which again occurs when the gradient is zero. However, this one, slightly to the left of the maximum turning point, the gradient is positive, but to the right, the gradient is negative. So this one is basically like the top of the hill. For a maximum and a minimum, the gradient changes sign from positive to negative or negative to positive at the turning point. However, we also have a stationary point of inflection, which is not a turning point, but it's one where the gradient does not change sign. So the gradient is positive to the left of this point, the gradient is zero at the point, but the gradient is also positive to the right of the point. So this is a stationary point of inflection. Okay, so in this example, we want to find the values of x when this graph, f of x equals x to the fifth minus 5x cubed, has a positive gradient. Okay, so once again, we will be graphing this function, so we want to define it. So let's go menu, actions, define. We will define the function f1 of x to equal x to the power of 5 minus 5 times x cubed. Okay, so that's the function defined. Let's find the gradient function. To find the gradient function, we'll use this template next to the book command. The operator that I want, d by dx, is highlighted, so press enter. Type in the x move across into the bar section here and press var to type in f1 and just type in the x. So that's my gradient function, 5x to the fourth minus 15x squared. Obviously we could have differentiated that by hand and got that answer, but obviously for more complicated functions you can use this uh, template to find the gradient function. All right, so we want to find when the gradient is zero for turning points. So menu, algebra, solve, solve where the gradient is equal to zero for x. So that gives me three answers here, x equals minus root three, zero, or root three. But we can actually find where the gradient is positive. Let me just press up arrow here and reissue that command. But rather than solving an equation where it's equal to zero, we can solve an inequality. So let me just type in a greater than there and that will then find where the gradient is positive. So the gradient is positive whenever x is greater than root 3 or whenever x is smaller than minus root 3. We can also see this graphically on this graph here. So this is a graph of the function y equals x to the fifth minus 5x cubed. And we've got a turning point at negative root 3. Notice that we can get exact values on this graph. And also a turning point at x equals positive root 3. The gradient is positive here whenever x is smaller than negative root 3. The gradient is negative here. The gradient is also 0 here, but this is not a turning point. And the gradient is negative whenever x is greater than root 3 the gradient is also positive. So the calculator has also solved the equation, but we can visualize what's happening here as well on the graph.